Hi world, it's the 9 o'clock in the morning on the 18th, Saturday the 18th of October 2014. Got a little surprise for you now, look. We talked yesterday briefly about stellar, planetary sacred geometry. Here's a little treat, look at this. Look at the circle in the middle, the big black circle. Draw a circle. On those, on the four cardinal points, north, south, east, west of that circle, draw four more circles so that the edges of those four new circles are touching. In the gap in the middle, draw another really small circle. What you've got of those two circles you've drawn, the original circle is the orbit of Jupiter. The circle on the inside is the orbit of Mars. This is accurate to 99 or accurate to over 99.9% .9 so we're talking about a hundred thousand miles over a fair few billion and um, I've got another hundred examples of how all the different planets actually sing with each other in a way that it epitomizes perfect harmony it is the harmony of the spheres there's a number of others and I'll show you some more at another time Meantime, here's, here's the crux of today's video, and that is Saturn. Saturn in Scorpio. Saturn now at 22 degrees of Scorpio, really beginning to pick up speed. The sun is about uh, just under one sign away. It's rising now about an hour 50 before Saturn. And um, certain people at the moment are getting a really difficult time. Saturn is bringing on, in the charts of those who are younger, and excuse my patronization, but by younger, I mean under 50 or even under 40, Saturn certainly is seen as limitation, blockage, restriction, limitation, frustration, and circumstances outside of your control holding you back. However, the other side of Saturn is also that of structure, order, boundary, self-discipline, and the willingness to work hard knowing that shortcuts don't work and that guaranteed success comes through discipline, focus, concentrated hard work. This is no consolation to those Aquarians at the moment, born on the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th of February, all those Leos born on the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th of August because Saturn's absolutely hammering you at the moment. And there's, um, you're, you're best advised to actually step back and have a detached and objective look at what's going on in your life and perhaps do a bit of housekeeping. Similarly, there's those Taurians born from the 12th to the 15th of May. Saturn is opposite your sun as I speak and over the coming week or so. So you're right in the middle of a two week period where basically cut your losses, you know? Look at those things that are taking too much energy to maintain and sustain for too little reward and start getting selective. And of course, Saturn is in Scorpio. It's particularly affecting those Scorpios born at the moment from the 13th to the 16th of November and if you're one of these mate not only cut your losses but weed and prune and streamline and let go of things and people and situations and environments for the past their sell by day and have reached the end of their shelf life this is not loss this is clearing the deck so that the future can come in without having to negotiate old baggage this is what Saturn does he clears the decks for you in a way that's not necessarily fun but it is workable, effective, and efficient. Saturn is now finishing the job that it started nine months ago, and many of you who have been under Saturn's eye over this last nine months are now finalizing, and in many ways this is end game over this last nine months for a lot of the gravity, restriction, and pressure of recent times. Nevertheless, it's nearly over, and by the end of October, Saturn's going to be moving into uncharted territory, into late Scorpio. So I do expect a lot more, unfortunately, a lot more stories of corruption, sordidness, child abuse, misogyny, all of these things to come out, uh, probably mainly historical, but nevertheless, still going to come up more and more as Saturn leaves Scorpio and prepares to move into Sagittarius, which is only now, remember, nine weeks away. 
those Sagittarians who have been complaining about not having anything to do with our lives. Boy, you have no idea what's coming up. It's going to be great. It's going to be hard work, but it's going to be great. Saturn's at the end of Scorpio. Time to be clinical, clear, almost ruthless with yourself. Time to get the metaphorical scalpel out. Apart from that, Saturn's your friend. Just work hard. Catch you later.